So here's my marbled goby in his usual hiding spot. He likes to tuck down in, uh, into this driftwood here. And I still need to... Uh, I just have the driftwood kind of thrown in here right now. I need to uh, place it uh, kind of more in the corner there. I just have him tossed in there with the uh, Nubius and Java Fern. But there, of course, is a full tank shot of the 90 gallon acrylic tank. He'll sit at the end and stare at the uh, fish in the 55. And of course, here are all the fish in the 55 gallon tank. There's a little bit of glare off of the 90 gallon. I have a, a piece of cardboard at the other end to help a little bit, but I should have waited till night. But anyway, yeah, I went with the uh, black background. Got a closer shot here. And everybody seems to be doing pretty happy. Got some uh, dwarf sag there. A uh, water lily bulb, banana lily, spiral crypt in the corner. When I pulled my spiral crypt out of the 80 gallon, um, I was able to make several plants out of it. All my crypts are in this 29 gallon right here. And of course, as crypts do, they uh, they melt away when you uh, take them out and, and replant them. Left a few, a uh, little bit of jungle val in the back there. I cut it down. Let's see how that does. Um, the dwarf pike that I have in the 55 gallon will probably, there he is right there. He will probably go into the 29 because he's kind of a bully. Like he'll, uh, he'll pick on other fish. My uh, cherry barbs, some of them have uh, tattered fins on them. But yeah, he's a cool looking fish. And he'll eventually go into the 80 gallon uh, blackwater tank that I'm going to do. But you can see all the banana uh, banana plants or banana lilies that I have. And uh, I'm not done. <laughs> I'm going to add a lot more uh, banana lilies to this tank because I, I like them a lot. Um, I forget what these are called. But on the driftwood I have my uh, Anubius and my Java Fern. Water lily bulb there and another banana lily. I need to get some more dwarf sag. I would like for uh, for four gram plants. I would love to have the uh, dwarf sag spread out and uh, fill in more of the foreground here, along with the banana plants. And I got three Amazon swords here, and of course, all my jungle val. I came out of my 29 gallon tank, trimmed a bunch of it up. And it, uh, there's some long pieces in there too. Got my zebra danios, my gold barbs, my cherry barbs, my serape tetras, black mollies, uh, salt and pepper cory catfish, uh, clown loach in here. He's still kind of shy. And I have my Brushy nose, uh, albino brushy nose plecos. I have two of them in here. I like how it turned out. Took all the plants and all the community fish from the 29 and the 80 and put it in the 55 here. And uh, it's a dirt planted tank. I use the organic Mir Miracle Grow. I just did a water change on, on everything. So the plants and fish are happy and healthy. And I don't, I can't really have a, a fish room per se, but I would just call this my fish corner. So I got the uh, 29 and the 18 there, and there's an, an 80 gallon off to the left. That's not, it's empty. That'll be my black water tank. 55 and 90. I still need to get some uh, glass tops cut for the top of this tank. I just have one large glass strip from the 80 sitting on top here along with one of the light fixtures. I may still use the light fixture along with some uh, lights that clamp onto the back of the tank. And I'll go ahead and show you what I did for the lighting in the canopy of the acrylic tank here. I went ahead and uh, went to Home Depot and bought myself uh, a shop light. Just a regular shop light. 
with uh, two um, natural daylight 5500 Kelvin uh, bulbs. And it comes with the hardware to hang it. And I just uh, drilled some holes in the top of the canopy and it hangs right there. And uh, yeah, I like how it turned out. And it sit closed, it sits a few inches from the top of the tank. And of course, you would need uh, some way to protect the water. You, you don't want any condensation on these lights. And I have uh, got a couple pieces of acrylic cut for the top here. You can see all the condensation on the on the top of the tank. And it's uh, none of that's getting into the light. It's open here in the back. It's a little bit these little gaps, but that's not going to do anything. So yeah, I check, and there's no condensation um, on the lights or inside the canopy. And I think this cost me a little over twenty bucks. Just maybe I don't know, twenty five, twenty eight dollars. A great simple solution uh, for uh, lighting your tank and these are these of course are the old t12 bulbs um, they were the, the cheapest and uh, yeah you can get them in natural daylight you know it's the they call it the K rating or the, the Kelvin you know 5500 or 6500 is the natural daylight reef tanks um, those lights are rated for 10,000 Kelvin and you don't need those uh, you don't need light quite that bright for freshwater planted tanks. And it does a good job. Um, I don't know, it has two bulbs. I, I, was want, I was worried that might be too much light for the uh, Anubias and Java Fern here, but uh, so far I haven't seen any uh, adverse reaction to the, uh, to the light. And if I need to, I can take a bulb out, but I think, uh, I think I'm set. I think I'm good. As soon as I get everything here buttoned up, I can start on my 80 gallon black water tank and that'll have silver dollars, uh, Buenos Aires tetras, and uh, possibly uh, Hugeta and Needle Nose Gar. Thanks for watching. Feel free to uh, comment down below, rate, comment, subscribe. Have a good one.